This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Muse. Muse is a fast state of the art text to image generation and editing AI model. This is from Google research. If you are new here and if you like my content, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So how is Muse different from say stable diffusion or the other uh, like DALI or other models? Okay, so here it is different because it makes use of a text to image transformer model. Okay, and it is significantly more efficient than diffusion or autoregressive models as claimed in this blog. Okay, so Muse is trained on a masked modeling task in a discrete token space. That is given the text embedding extracted from a pre-trained large language model. Muse is trained to predict randomly masked image tokens. So this is from text to text tokens to image tokens compared to pixel space diffusion models like Imagen or DALI 2 or stable diffusion. Muse is more efficient because it makes use of discrete tokens and requires fewer sampling iterations compared to autoregressive models such as party. Okay. So what they are saying is Muse is more efficient because of parallel decoding and it is because of uh, it makes use of the text embedding extracted from a large language model to predict randomly masked image tokens. Okay, so what they are saying is that the use of pre-trained large language models enables fine-grained language understanding. Uh, you get better uh, image generation and understanding of visual concepts such as objects, spatial relationships, pose, cardinality. And what they are saying is that this 900 million parameter model achieves a new SOTA on a particular uh, CC3M with a score. Right. There is also a 3 billion parameter model which has a score of FID score of 7.88 on COCO evaluation. Okay. So this is about Muse. Now let us look at what kind of applications can be done with this Muse. So what they are saying is that you can do in painting, out painting and mask free editing. First let us look at some examples of text to image generation. So what they are saying is our model generates high quality images very fast 1.3 seconds for 512 into 512 resolution or 0.5 seconds for 256 into 256 on a TPU V4. Okay. So here are some examples. So this is the uh, text prompt which says the saying be excellent to each other returned in a stained glass window and this is the image which has been generated. Here you have a cat and a dog Canon camera 10mm lens. So that is the effect which needs to be produced in this image. Here you have a rainbow colored penguin, right? Um, these are selected images. Obviously they will highlight the selected images over here. Unless we get access to the real model to try out ourselves, we cannot just believe what is here. But these images look quite good. Okay. Here you have three dogs celebrating a Christmas in Times Square. So you have this image. Uh, here an artistic black and white street photograph of a French cafe. So here you have different uh, demo images of different scenarios. Okay three elephants standing on top of each other, right? An abstract flowery painting. So these are different images which have been generated based on this text. Okay. Now let's talk about something like their zero shot mask free editing. Okay. So what they say is that our model gives us zero shot mask free editing for free by iteratively resampling image tokens conditioned on a text prompt. For example, if your original was cat wearing a tie, so you have this image. Now, if you want to move, uh, edit it to a dog, see this image has been generated. Okay. So this is resampling the image tokens conditioned on a text prompt. Okay. Now it transitions into a pig. Okay. Now to a Shiba Inu. Here is a owl. Right. So that is about zero shot mask free editing. Okay. Then you have mask free editing controls multiple objects in an image using only a text prompt. So if your original image was this and then you say a croissant next to a latte with the flower latte art. So this has been changed. Uh, this a cake is replaced by a croissant and here you have the latte art. Okay. So this mask free editing multiple objects in an image can also be edited using a text prompt. Another example over here a bottle of Pinot Grigio. Uh, next to a glass of white wine and a cork. So you have this original image. You see this bottle cap is replaced by a cork and this becomes a wine glass. Okay. So this is about your uh, mask free editing controls. Multiple objects can be edited with just changes in the text prompt. You also have zero shot in painting out painting. So you can have 
uh, mask based editing uh, so this is equivalent to generation so over here you have this image new york in the background right now i want to change this to paris in the background so with this as an original image now i am making paris in the background so you see this change which is happening over here in the image i can change this to san francisco so this is your uh, in painting over here which is happening okay so here is an exa another example of an hot air balloons so you see this particular region original plus mask has been replaced by hot air balloons over here in this image okay again in this image beautiful fall foliage and the gazebo is on the lake so this particular building is now uh, this part is edited okay so here is the model details which they have given so idea is that you have a text encoder to get text embeddings okay then you have your uh, vq tokenizer so the idea is that there are two uh, transformers over here so one is two independent uh, vq gan tokenizer networks okay so one is low resolution one is super resolution so low resolution as base transformer this is a super resolution transformer so the idea over here is that this vq tokenizer uh, it takes this uh, input image and then masks you uh, it creates some masked tokens which are fed to a base transformer to reconstruct okay and this reconstruction is conditioned based on the text embedding over here also if you look at uh, this uh, super resolution transformer it takes this reconstructed low resolution uh, tokens as well and the text embedding and then it uh, tries to you know it also takes this masked high resolution tokens uh, from the vq tokenizer and then it actually tries to reconstruct high resolution tokens so this is the idea over here so the uh, they are using t5 for the text encoder and they are using two independent vq gan tokenizer networks okay now the question is if you want to know what is vq gan tokenizer uh, i would uh, suggest you to read this resource which talks about illustrated vq gan okay uh, so vector quantized gan so it talks about that over here so you can um, read through this to understand more about what is vq gan and what is the idea over here okay uh, there is this original paper which introduced a vq gan architecture basically okay i'll be putting the link of this illustrated vq gan as well as this taming transformer uh, this particular paper in the description of the video you can check out that but that is the idea or architecture over here okay so it is different from your stable diffusion is that it doesn't operate in the pixel space but it op operates on the discrete image token space okay plus conditioned by other text embedding or text prompt okay so this is at a high level the architecture of muse i hope you like this content on muse this was a quick first look on this uh, research paper uh i hope that they would release the code at some point of time or the model at some point of time where you can actually try it out and see how well it performs but for the time being we just have this uh, set of images which are present over here and you know th the way they have claimed that it is much faster compared to other models because it makes use of transformers and it is it operates in the token space not in the pixel space okay If you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel um see you in another video happy learning